Sea of Thieves Season 8 has been out for over six months now, and between that time, there have been probably hundreds of thousands of hourglass fights on the waves. As the time progressed, people have found multiple different kinds of crews when diving that completely caught you off guard, in good ways or bad, that completely changed the course of the fight. In this video, we're going to be talking about those starting with... These crews are the perfect example of how a good hourglass fight should go. They know it's a fight and are prepared to get from point A to point B. Nothing special about them. Fire cannon shots, board, sink, and give a good GG's. It was a fair but fun fight. But sometimes you rise above the waves expecting another fair fight when it's actually far from it. You rise above the waves and grab the cannon, getting ready to shoot cannonballs at each other, and right as you're loading your first cannonball, your steering wheel becomes tier 3 damage, your mask gets taken down by only cannonballs, and just before you move off the cannon to go into bilging mode, you get one ball right in the freaking dome piece. All within a blink of an eye, your boat is completely immobile, and you're just sitting in the ferry thinking. Just thinking about how MMR is a lie. It's a blanket of deceit that tricks you into thinking you're actually good at the game, when in reality it's shielding you from the true gods of PvP, and you're just another obstacle in their path of golden curses. Is MMR good for you, or does it stunt your PvP potential? You spawn back onto your boat right when the bell dongs. As you wait to be taken out of the server, you see the opponent's title. Uh... Ah, I can't wait to go out in the seas today. Huh? What's this? Battle for the Sea of Thieves, huh? Yeah, I'll join. Don't know what that means, but I'll do it. Hey, a boat! Just give him a quick wave here. Well, that was fun. Time to continue my voyages for Gold Hoarder. Huh, wonder why my boat is all black and... Scared navelers are the crews that get ready for a broadside standoff, and as soon as you start to hit them, they veer off in the other direction to repair their boat. They're the equivalent of the one kid that yells timeout right before they get tagged. Stop! You start the hour-long chase scene of running after them, catching up to them, and getting one or two shots in, then rinse and repeat. Call this a skill issue if you must, but it takes me such a long time to catch up to them, it makes me want to commit slash kill. I don't think I need to explain this, the absolute scum of the earth. I don't want to give the segment too much time in the video because they don't deserve it, let alone anything else in life. But if you've hacked and see at these or any other game, I just want to tell you, I love you. Because you probably don't hear it enough. These crews wake up and start feeding for some TDM and Sea of Thieves. When they arise from the waves of the battle, they anchor their boat and keep asking you for TDM like a kid asking if you got games on your phone. Do you got games on your phone? They tell you that you can have the win after, but they know that there will never be an after. You keep TDMing and after you say, okay, last one, they keep trying to TDM. And each time you come back from the ferry, you keep asking them to stop and then you feel like you're becoming Doctor Strange saying, Romamu, Romamu, Romamu. Then when you break the cycle, they don't end up giving you the win because they want to keep fighting. Do I speak from experience? abso lutely These crews don't want to work hard. They're the crews that want to get the A on the group assignment, but most work they do is just put their name on the project. They don't care how much work others put into it. They just want the end reward so they'll do the bare minimum. If you run into someone who has a PvP curse on, but the skills don't match the curse, you'll know exactly how that happened. These crews think that the only thing they need to shoot at your boat is themselves. They want to sink your boat strictly from spawn camping you enough that you'll rage scuttle. But I'm happy to tell you that there's an easy way to get rid of these people. All you need to do is put one or two holes in their boat and they send off to board and keep them distracted on your boat long enough for them to sink. They're missing that piece of their brain that tells them to repair their boat. These crews are collecting supplies like it's no one else's business. You board them and look into their barrels to find stacks and stacks and stacks of cannonballs. Then ever think, yeah, I think we have enough supplies for now, and instead just keep shoving supplies down the barrels like you're shoving a giant pile of laundry in your washer. Don't ever turtle while these guys are death spiraling you because they can circle around you for days. But there are some really cool supply holders that turn into... If a supply hoarder is feeling generous enough, right before they get off they'll dive once more and instead of battling, they anchor their boat and send all the fireworks they have to show that they're friendly. They tell you that they're about to get off and want to give you all the supplies you can need for three play sessions. I consider these people Mr. Beast of the Seas because they couldn't make you anything else but happy. These people just want to give you a break from the dive, fight, rinse, repeat matrix. They're true to their word that if they roll a lower number, they will scuttle. And also follow my Twitch where I might be streaming Sea of Thieves right now, and if you want to find some extra friends to experience these crews with and increase your odds of winning a battle, then click on this video right here and learn all about it.